I do. Y'all may, y'all may join us up here in the gazebo. Please. <clears throat> Can everyone hear me? Please bow your heads. Heavenly Father, we gather to celebrate your gift of love and its presence among us. We rejoice that these two people have chosen to commit themselves to a life of loving faithfulness to one another. We praise you, Lord, for the ways you have touched our lives with loving relationships such as Brian and Erica's. And we give thanks for the special love and friendship you have put in their hearts. Renew within us an affectionate and loving spirit. Enrich our lives with the gracious gift of your love so that we may embrace others with that same love. May our participation in this celebration of love and commitment give to us a new joy and responsiveness to the relationship that we cherish. In your loving arms we pray. Amen. Amen. Are you two ready? We are here on this day to witness and celebrate the marriage of Brian and Erica. We have gathered today together not to mark the start of a relationship, but to acknowledge and strengthen the bond that already exists. This ceremony is a public affirmation of that bond. It is our honor and privilege to stand witness to this event. This day is made possible not only because of your love for each other, but through the grace and support of your family and friends. It is our hope that your fulfillment and joy in each other will increase with each passing year. Marriage is a commitment in life where two people can find and bring out the very best in each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other human relationship can equal. A physical and emotional joining that has the promise of a lifetime. While the commitment begins with the two of you, it effects, radiates outward. It touches your family and friends and ultimately all of society. When this commitment is seriously made and continuously fulfilled, it leads to the richest and most rewarding of human relationships. Your relationship will take more than love. It will take trust to know that your hearts, that you want only the best for each other. It will take dedication to stay open for one another in times where it may be difficult to learn and grow. It will take faith moving forward together without knowing what the future holds for you both. It will take respect, honoring, what each of you are and how you got there. It will take patience knowing that while you are in love, you are still different people with different perspectives and priorities. It will require caring, which comes from love and is increasingly more important as you age. While love is our natural state of being, these other qualities are not as easy to come by. They are not a destination, but a journey. Marriage is a give and take between two personalities, a mingling of two endowments, which diminish neither, but enhance both. Seeing that no, <clears throat> no moment is without meaning, we ask that you take this marriage as the beginning of your lives together. 
Today signifies the creation of a new home for you both. May you be fulfilled by each other's love and friendship. May you be overjoyed by the promise, promises you are about to make and the life together you will create. Remember that in every marriage, there are good times and bad times. Enjoy times of sorrow and times of joy will strengthen your bonds and the times of sorrow will challenge them. But your love, faith, dedication, respect, patience, and caring will carry you over any and all barriers. May the promises you make to one another today be lived out to the end of your lives. Today can bring you to the greatest of joys, but today is the day it all begins. Brian and Erica, if you agree with the questions I present before you, please affirm with, we will, after each question. Brian and Erica, do you, with your witnesses present, present yourselves willingly and of all your accord to be joined in marriage? We will. Will, will you promise to care for each other in the joys and sorrows of life and to share your responsibility for growth and enrichment of your life together? We will. I want to say a small blessing over their vows. Bless, O Lord, these vows by which this man and this woman have bound themselves to each other. Amen. Amen. Brian, you make it first. Please. Yeah, I do. Man, I'm old. I need glasses. Sumity Bride, my best friend, my partner, my beautiful shield mm -hmm. I'm so glad we both swipe right. <laughs> <laughs> I've never loved, been loved by anyone the way that you love me. And I've never been taken care of by anyone the way that you have taken care of me. And for that, I'm so grateful. I'm grateful to have you in my life, and on this day of bonding with you among our friends and our family and all of God's creations. So today, today I vow, I promise, to always tell you how beautiful you are for a time. Mm -hmm. <sighs> And in the first seconds as I open my eyes and see the most loving and beautiful woman a man could ever be blessed with, I will tell you that. I promise to calm you when you get upset. <laughs> I promise to be there and be your shoulder when you can cry on, the hands that comfort and care for you when you are sick. I promise to be the ear that bends to you when you need to be heard. I vow to you that this mouth, the big one, that speaks to you with words of encouragement. I vow to you that these lips will always kiss you sweetly. Dry in those things. <laughs> I vow on this day to protect you and sustain you for all my days. I will never disappoint you, Erica. I will never let you down. I will never harm you. And this I vow to you. I vow to give you the first bite of my steak and the first sip of my wine. <laughs> blood of my blood, bone of my bone, I give to you my body, so that way may be one. 
I give you my spirit until the hour thing is over. To you, Erica, I thought this. It's pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> you pulled it out. You pulled out the accent. I love it. <laughs> I am here today because I do not want to spend another day without being your wife. It's a word that has great importance and significance. Becoming your wife today brings me great joy, and there is no greater honor. I love that word. It's because of whom you are that I desire so much to be your wife. You are my confidant, my protector, my best friend, and as your wife, I vow to walk through this life for the rest of our days and forever stand by your side. This is probably no surprise to you, since I miss you even when you're in the next room. I do not ever desire to be apart from you, and I will never take a single day with you for granted. It's difficult to find words that best convey how I feel, and I'm not sure that they exist. You are the fairy tale. What many people wish they had, but never find. And this speaks to the type of person you are, kind, thoughtful, considerate, patient, and sweet. I will never stop trying to show you those same qualities. I promise to be the very best partner to you that I know how to be. I pledge to do my very best to fill you with the same happiness you give to me. So much of your time is dedicated to unselfishly making me happy and my life easier. It does not go unnoticed, and I will never stop trying to bring you that same joy. You exemplify how a woman should be treated. You are so understanding of my feelings, even when they are difficult to relate to or inconvenient. You are caring, sincere, and respectful. I could not ask for more. Thank you. In return, I vow to show you the utmost thought and understanding, consideration, and respect. Now, Brian already gave this one away. I wanted everyone to know that every morning you wake up, every morning, you wake up and tell me how beautiful I am. Your love and adoration for me is evident, and I want you to know how much I adore you. You are more than deserving. <clears throat> you are unique and special and can never be replaced. I will spend the rest of my days reminding you of this and ensuring that you feel loved. Starting now, I love you so much. <laughs> I just wanted to smack the butt. In the same way that a ring is a symbol for love, so is a knot. A knot is a symbol that represents a bond between two souls joining together in love respect and harmony. These three cords represent their two physical bodies joining together by their spirit union that will remain in unity.
I feel joy in my hands. As your hands are bound together, so are your hearts, minds, and souls. You are united in love, trust, and partnership through the knots of this binding. May the ties of this hand fasting grow stronger with each new challenge and triumphs. May your love be a beacon of hope and inspiration to all who know you. You are holding the hand of your best friend. These are the hands that will work alongside of you as you build your future together. These are the hands that will love and cherish you forever. These are the hands that will celebrate with you when happy, and these are the hands that will console you in times of pain. These are the hands that will give you strength and support when you are in need as your hands are joined together now. So may your hearts and souls forever be. Do your thing. Jalen? May I have the box? Brian and Erica have decided not to exchange rings today. However, Brian has commissioned a torque for Erica to wear. This torque is an ancient tradition. The torque represents prosperity and status. Today, Erica becomes Lady Armstrong. By wearing this, she proclaims to all that, all that all see her that she is not only loved, cherished, and protected, but Brian. His only clan. By Brian. By Brian, his only clan. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to stand over here for the rest of it. I'm going to have a closing prayer. Eternal God, help Brian and Erica to fulfill the promise they have made today and to reflect your steadfast love and their commitment to each other. Give them kindness and patience, affection and understanding, happiness and contentment. May their family and friends continue to support them in difficult days so that their love for each other may continue to grow as long as they both shall live. Amen. 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 Brian and Erica, from this moment forward, you'll never be alone. You will carry with you the love of another person, giving you a completeness and renewed lightness. May your life together be immersed in love and excitement. Together you share the joy of a deep commitment and a sacred trust. You have given each other the most precious gift of love. Cherish it, nurture it, and encourage it with all the honesty you used to in creating it. You are sharing something rare and beautiful. Always speak the truth and listen attentively so that you may understand each other's thoughts and intentions inspire each other by sharing your accomplishments 
say I love you often and attain the warmth between you. Remember to laugh a lot even when you're angry. After all, you are each other's best friend. Stand together and with each other always. Be content in mind and spirit. Make each day a blessing and a fulfillment of your dreams. Having pledged their fidelity to one another, to, aunt, to love and honor and cherish one another in the presence of this gathering, it is my honor to pronounce you are legally married. You may now share in your first kiss as a married couple. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Get to leave first. Oh, all right. Are we taking pictures under here? I also need signatures and a license. 